Hello, hello, and welcome to Star Admirals number two, Let's Play. So my name's Shay, uh, welcome back to those of you who are returning. For those of you who aren't, um, this is Star Admiral, where it's a collectible card game developed for mobile, and it's the first 3D collectible card game on this platform. So today's Let's Play is going to be taking a look into the more strategic and deck building elements of Star Admiral. Let's just go into the hangar here and have a look. This is essentially where the magic happens. So we have our active fleet down here. And if I decide I want to take a unit out, drag it up into my hangar. And I can, of course, add more units by dragging things back in. And so I've actually already built a deck, as you can see, and I've named it Shadowstorm. Uh, it's storm-like because it's very fast. It's a it's a rush deck, and so it has a lot of early game damage and a lot of early game control, which it buys for. And it's a shadow-based deck, so a very apt name, if I do say so myself. Let's have a quick look at this unit here. Best craft ever. This is a really important unit for the deck we'll be playing today. Uh, you'll notice it gives you one energy, has three attack and one health. And it's, it's one of my favorite crafts. Um, the temporary energy is something that can be really handy, especially if you want to do, start doing a lot of actions in the early game. Of course, dealing one damage to itself is not so handy. So this means that before we even have a chance to attack with best craft, it will destroy itself. However, I have three different units in this deck, which combo really nicely with best craft. One's here, it's the Ruthless Cannibal. When played, destroy an allied craft and absorb its attack and HP. And there are two other units which combo really nicely with best craft ever. But we will see them, hopefully, in action this game. So let's jump straight in, into our PvP, join the queue, and hopefully I'll win this one. If you were here with this last time, you would have noticed um, quite a long and quite an exciting game, which I unfortunately lost. I think I had my opponent on one health. McLovin. I'm yet to run into him again, but uh, I will have my vengeance. So we'll see, maybe it'll be today. We'll see what happens. Captain, I am a dude bro for ever dude. Rightio. Not McLovin, but that's okay, he can wait. He can wait. I think um, dude bro forever dude is uh, a worthy opponent. So, we have our opening hand down here. Let's see. No best craft ever, but hopefully he'll come up soon. And I might... I might sack this trap here. I don't think I need a trap in play just yet. And bring in our Iron Fist. Great little early game unit, Iron Fist. 0 4 for 1. That's his ability. When damaged, Iron Fist gains 1 attack. So quite handy. I mean, obviously, we're not going to be doing any damage with Iron Fist unless someone attacks him first. Or unless we do him some damage first. But that's not quite what this deck's about. Okay, so Dude Bro brought in a trap. can't see what it is. I can see he's got a trap. Well. Hmm. Decisions. I think I will sacrifice our salvager. And bring in a free observer. This is a great craft. Uh, three for a three three. And for each played enemy craft, you draft a unit from your fleet. So obviously it's really important in a collectible card game to have many cards in your hand. As many as you can, essentially. So the limit in Star Admiral is six cards. And you want to be drawing as many cards as you can and playing... Yeah, essentially playing as many cards as you can. Haha! <laughs> this is interesting. So, Dude Bro. I'm a Dude Bro Forever Dude. 9 from 16? Yeah. Oh, that's Moxie. 38 from 77. Not great. Well, Dude Bro's just played a Jamcraft, and as long as Jamcraft is in play, traps don't trigger. But Dude Bro's the only one with a trap in play. So this could be a really strategic move, or a really silly move. So we'll see which one it is. I mean, obviously he has control over when his trap goes off, or at least some control. But I'm not, I'm not even going to try and deal damage to Jamcraft. I'm just going to leave him in play and disable him and it's essentially doing me a favor. I don't have to worry about this trap going off. Notice the icon stops spinning. It's a cool little cool little feature, I think. You know, so the trap's not spinning around, then it's not going to go off. Hmm. 
So this could potentially be really good for us. We've got another disable in our hand now. And I'm just going to keep him disabled, absolutely. And just not worry about this trap. So, I'm not going to play a trap, of course, because Jamcraft will be affecting us too. We're in our Chancellor. Really nice card, Chancellor. If you saw the first dev, uh, Let's Play, sorry. You probably noticed the Chancellor in play. I really like this guy. Deal two damage to your opponent each time you draw a card. So the synergy between Free Observer and the Chancellor is really good. Because as soon as my enemy plays a ship, I draw a card, which of course in turn deals two damage from the Chancellor. It's a great little combo there. Got some deck cycling, got some damage happening. And at the start of each turn, I'm going to be drawing two cards too. This is looking pretty good for us. This might be a bit of a quick game. Could be a lot faster than the than the first dev play. Let's play. Develop a let's play. Dev play kind of works. It's a short name. So. Okay, there's a tank. I think um, Dudebo really needed to, to bring in some stopping power. Um, especially because, I mean, I, I would have been dealing 8 damage just from my attack next turn. Okay, 5-10. So Dubo has upped the health of his tank by 5. Now, I think what I'm going to try and go for here... I haven't seen any of those best craft evers. But, I mean, we're still doing pretty well with this deck, even without them. I'm going to try and keep... Draw this game out a little bit longer than I would have kind of thought with regards to... Uh, a rush deck, a shadow storm deck. And the reason I'm going to do that is because as long as my chancellor's in play, I can deal damage to my enemy without having to worry about um, dealing damage to him by attacking him. It's, it's that what I was trying to say there. So, I mean, if I can keep him in play, and you'll notice I didn't attack with my protector, my plated savior, which has the protect ability, um, because if I have a protector in play, or two, then I can slow down his attack power, his attacking uh, force. Which is interesting, we'll see, I mean, it's certainly not over. I, I do have the advantage of, of ticking um, Dude Bro's health down, and I'm yet to take any damage myself. So... Hmm. There we go, so he's gotten rid of my two tanks now, so of course my free observer and my chancellor have become vulnerable. But they're both still in play. I buffed up my free observer before, so he has five health. Just not bad. He could, he can take a hit. Well, not from this guy, but from from the other guys. Hmm. What to do? I mean, I've got another two tanks, so I, I'm going to stick to this little this little plan of keeping the game, um, keeping the game slowed down. Essentially, going to try and draw this out by keeping my guys alive. Him a bit of health. I'm going to attack with these guys, as I said, I could, but I'd lose the free observer, which means I'd lose the card draw every time my opponent plays a card. So I mean, this is just one of the ways you can you can uh, win in Star Admiral. You don't necessarily have to be attacking with your ships, there's a lot of strikes which deal direct damage to the avatar, a lot of abilities which deal direct damage, so you can essentially design a whole deck around, I mean, you could just design a deck around Chancellors. Just put in a lot of decoy holograms. Next enemy attack is nullified, draw two crafts. That's four damage right there. I mean, if you had two chances, chancellors in play, excuse me, that would be eight damage from a three unit combo. That's pretty good, especially since you won't be taking damage from this combo. Nothing has to uh, be sacrificed. Okay. Things are looking tricky for Dude Bro. I mean, he's got all these tanks, but again, like, unless he can deal a whopping 30 damage in the next couple of turns. I think it's looking pretty good for us. Yeah, so he's healing himself as much as he can. That's that's pretty interesting. I mean, it's not the best use of a heal, but essentially because he, bring, he plays a craft, I draw a unit which deals him two damage. But then he just heals himself with the, with the plated saviors, so... I mean, this is where I really would excuse me, like Jamcraft to be out of the picture. Unfortunately, I can't do that this turn. So, going to upgrade and going to play. 
a Schwindler. So Schwindler, oh excuse me, that is the Deutsch word, the German word for dreadful twister, or at least that's what we've called it in the German version of the game, sorry about that. So now I have a, <laughs> I almost said it again there, dreadful twister. So essentially any en every enemy craft that's destroyed, uh, the enemy avatar is dealt 3 damage. So basically trying to limit what my opponent can do in terms of his attacking and defending. If he has one of his crafts be destroyed, he'll be dealt 3 damage. If he brings in another craft, which he could do, he'll be dealt 2 damage. And of course if I draw 2 cards next turn, Oh, what a great move by Dudro. So, I mean, he's down on a measly 4 health, but this is a really, really strong uh, formation. Three tanks, a Emperor's Pet, which produces the damage that allied crafts to our enemy, that essentially our, our enemy's craft takes. Oh, and another tank. Big Veteran's Pride. Okay, we're in a bit of trouble. We're definitely in a bit of trouble. I really want to get rid of that jam craft now. And I can't. So this could be... I mean, he helped us out at the start, but now it could be the... Uh, how does one say? The needle in our side. Hmm. We don't need traps, so I don't think I'll be getting rid of him anytime soon. Get some haste now. Where are the haste units in? This fleet. I thought I put a few more in. Okay. Let's get rid of this. 5 4. Ah, oh, I totally forgot about Emperor's Pet. So I didn't destroy this 5 4 because my 4 damage was reduced to 3. Which is a shame because I could have destroyed one of the other two tanks in play. Hmm. I'm not sure if I'm going to survive. Dang, of course, it's way more than 17 damage. So that is game. Um, I mean, that turned around really quickly. An interesting game though, I think. Uh, I really thought I had that in the bag. 30 health to 4, and then turned around with enough stopping power to essentially stop the Chancellor. Quite surprised we didn't see this best craft ever, and didn't see a, a few more haste units. Um, things that essentially can come in and deal damage straight away. And of course, my damage link strikes didn't come up either. But ended up playing a different strategy, one that I didn't foresee in this deck. So, good little game there. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you like uh, what you see, of course, subscribe, uh, like the like the link, share it around, and we have a global launch in summer. So, iOS and Android will be following shortly after, and Windows 2 for those who can wait for the Windows phones. So, I'm Shay. Hope you had a good time. See you later.